Hello everyone, Jeff and Derek here with Indiana Liquor Group. And uh, Derek, we're going to do something different today. So for our reviews, normally we're doing store picks because yeah. we're pretty proud of our store picks. Oh, and they're pretty good. So, But you know what? I thought these are some new products we're bringing in and uh, let's give our honest review. But let's just go ahead and pretend that, that we kind of picked through and we was like, yeah, these are probably our favorites. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we could do that. So uh, we're bringing in Barrel. Barrel Foundations, which is sort of their more standard, um, you know, Barrel for the longest time. You know, they have all these different. Bit while you're yeah. Talking? So Barrel's been, always poured their single barrels, right? You've always seen these. Remember at one time you said there's so many selections, you're almost overwhelmed with the different types of barrel products. You don't know there. where to go. Sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. Then all of a sudden they were 90 bucks, 100 bucks, 115 dollars. Mm -hmm. This one is Barrel Foundations. It's coming in at 55.99. Oh, so see, now that's pretty good, right? So now we got a product, 100 proof, 100 proof, and it's minimum five years. And here's what I like about this: um, if you look on the back here, this is I think the the mash bill. I'm going to cheat a little bit because I think all of it is a 73 percent corn, 23 percent rye. But so it's 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 kind of that's sort of what the ending mash bill turned out to be with the blend. But if you've got an eight year from Kentucky, five, six, and nine year from Indiana, eight year from Tennessee, and a five and six from Maryland. So there's four batches in yeah, here? Yeah, four different whiskeys. Okay. All different years with the oldest being, uh, looks like nine, and the youngest being five. And uh, at fifty-five dollars, Miss Kendra, your home state. I know we're in Maryland representing. That's yeah. right. We well, see. We're even thinking about you. I appreciate that, gentlemen. <laughs> so, I'll tell you right now, like the thing I love about this, the proof. You know, like we talk about the hundred proof. Kind of, it, it's nice not to have one hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty proof all the time. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so, I'm with that. The hundred is just you get enough flavor, but it's still easy to drink too sometimes it gets a little hard to drink at 120. yeah it burns your throat out and you're like yeah sometimes <laughs> it's, what do you this nose is fantastic it's kind of it's sweet it's candy what do you get on this i go well with the higher rye i expected to get some rye notes out yeah. of it and i really don't it's really a soft very soft oak soft vanilla is what it, i get absolutely out of it. absolutely well, let's take a sip of this. Cheers, buddy. light citrus, too. Yeah. Sorry, okay. Yeah, cheers. Let's see where we're getting on this. Hmm. So that, that, that is just, that's a good blend. I'm still in your pizzazz. You are? That is so good. Well, I'm, I'm going to put these glasses, glasses on, on and... I, know, I, I do feel see. like I get some light citrus see. notes. <laughs> <laughs> you put those on over those. I'm supposed to be able to... Uh, oh, it's intensifying the whiskey. That's what this does. Yeah, yeah man. It'll this come is, around. This is really good. Um, the thing that I love about this is the proof point and the flavor from back or from front to back is just is, is on point. Mm -hmm. It's not offensive. It's very refreshing. It's got a lot of sweetness. It's got a little bit of spice in the back. It has all of those things yeah. because it doesn't really pull too much in one direction or another with all of those different blends. You know, you can you can notice that there is some rye in there. Absolutely. And there is corn and there's these different things, these different barrel influences, but yeah, they're just not one of them is taking away from any other one. And the price? Yeah, $55. $55. That's fantastic. I mean, $55. I'm, I'm all about that. Um, so I, I like this. I, I already knew I was going to like it. But I will say this, I like this, mm. the foundations, I like better mm. than the single barrels. A lot of the single barrel picks that, that I've had, they're like you said, it's overwhelming and there's a lot of them out there. Yeah. This seems to kind of hit that perfect palette point for me. That's what I, I agree. think. Yeah, that is fantastic. But here's another favorite of mine. Yeah. And this is the guy that came out of Kentucky out. I, I can't read it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Uh, I'll get a little poorer. Yeah, so this is 2XO. So Dex, Dex, Dexon Dedman, uh, Dedman, who used to be, you know, he's kind of famous for the Kentucky Owl. He's a blender. He's a great master blender. And so what this is is really kind of this kind of this 2XO, this double oak kind of project where, you know, they're really working on the blending aspect of it and just kind of creating this really cool blend using some uh, double oak processing. So that's the 2XO, two times yeah, oak. Yeah, two times right? oak. Okay. And this one is the new release. It's from. It's called the French Oak. And you know how we like that French Oak. 
you yeah. know, in, in the Maker's Mark, the French oak staves are always really good. So this particular one here, though, I just, I've not had a bad product from 2XO. Now, tell me, maybe I'm wrong, but most of the ones, that I'm not trying them all, but um, these are fantastic. I mean, just, they're rich, but, I mean, it's made from a guy who, who started Kentucky Owl who never had a bad batch right. under his under his watch. It looks good. It's almost got a red tint to it, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. It Could it be the label? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Is the inside of the label red? The outside is. It's, yeah, it's it's just really, it's it's got some uh, depth to the, you know, it's dark. Um, but on the nose, wow, way different. <laughs> that is way different from yeah. we went from like sweet to this is very oaky. It is oaky. It's more aggressive with the rye too. Yeah, and believe it or not, not bad. It's just so letting you know it's they, there. I couldn't find the mash bill on this, but believe it or not, this is actually less rye. It's eighteen percent rye. Is it? Yeah, but it is there. You can really yeah. smell that rye note. This reminds me of something. Um, I can't quite put my. Uh, it reminds me of OYO, the old red wheat. This it, it just it's an old brand. I don't even know if I've never seen it in a long time. I mean, you but, probably got a few stuff here, but, but but that nose, yeah, right over there. But that nose, it it reminds me of that. Now I don't think there's any wheat in this, but yeah, let's try Maybe, let's try it. Yeah, cheers, oh, cheers. Mm. Wow, completely different flavor profile. The the palate is it goes from sweet, um, kind of baking, kind of desserty to now a very just a very nice kind of an elegant kind of a bourbon. Um, very nice blend, and it does this. I I can't get OYO out of my out of my head, but that's kind of where I'm thinking. It's got this really nice soft, elegant type of flavor profile. It, it has a nuttiness to it. That yes. I kind of like. And I don't know if it's, it's not peanut like a Jim Beam, but it's, it's a nuttiness. There, there is. It, yes. There's a, it's almost like a walnut, like yeah. a little bit of a walnut note. I don't know. Did you That's get that? That's what I keep picking up. Yeah. It's. The nuttiness. I, for, these are completely opposite. Yeah. You got, you got sweet and you got elegant and they're both. They're both really, really good for what for if you want something sweet. What a great price! So right? What if we blend these together? I don't know. That's that's gonna that should be pretty fun. We should try that at our tastings. Yes, we do that. <laughs> <laughs> folks. You're gonna get a chance to try these. You know, we've been doing a lot of single barrels, but this month we're gonna really focus on just some really cool products that that um, we wanted to. We thought you would enjoy. Thought it'd be a good opportunity for you to try them. Great price points. You're looking at I think forty nine ninety nine for this. And you're at fifty five ninety nine for the barrel. So and these are every day, right? Every day, yep. Yeah. So we did want to focus on something that's not so allocated, right? Right. So check out the comments. Check for our tastings. It's going to be a great month. Cheers. Cheers.